Hello, and welcome to this Saijin Store Installation Guide video. Before we start, it's important to keep in mind that this series is a supplementary resource and we strongly advise you to read the entire installation guide thoroughly before installing or operating Saijin Store. In this video, we will guide you through the process of mounting, wiring, and commissioning the product on the floor. To begin, it is important to select a suitable installation site in accordance with the requirements outlined in the guide. Required clearance space is also essential to keep the product away from other objects nearby. Now you can move the package to the ideal installation site and unpack it. Please note that a successful installation requires at least two properly trained personnel. After that, take a moment to inspect the accessories of the three packages. Make sure to verify all accessories against the packing list. Before beginning the installation process, please gather all necessary protective gear, installation tools, and cables ahead of time. This product offers great flexibility as it can be mounted either on the wall or the floor. However, please note that if you opt to install it on the wall, it is imperative that you install tripods on the wall for support. The tripods need to be connected to the mounting base with four M5 bolts. To properly install the tripod, use four M8 expansion bolts to secure it onto the wall. Make sure to mount it at a height of no less than 350 millimeters above ground level. Observe the horizontal bubble to make sure that the base is completely level. If not, adjust the placement until leveled. Mark the tripod mounting holes and secure the tripod on the wall with four M8 expansion bolts. While for floor standing installation, no tripods are needed. Up to six Saijin batteries are supported for floor installation. Firstly, place the mounting base on the ground. Keep a certain distance between the mounting base and the wall surface. Use a supplied leveling gasket to level the mounting base, if it is not level. Then, please take the underlying template. Unfold and fold the template as directed, then align it with the upper surface of the mounting base. Ensure that it adheres closely to both the wall and the base. Use the template to mark the holes of the batteries and inverter, making sure that they are accurately marked as indicated on the template. Finally, drill the mounting holes. To ensure the correct installation of the 8M8 expansion bolts, use a rubber hammer to remove the nut and keep it aside for later use. Align the two handles with the screws reserved on the battery. Then use handles to lift the module and place it on the mounting base. Saijin battery should be kept horizontally and mounted vertically downwards. Mount the second Saijin battery and energy controller using the same procedure as before, ensuring proper alignment of the quick connectors. Secure the brackets connecting the base, packs, and inverter on both sides by fully tightening the M5 screws. For optimal stability, it is necessary to use wall fasteners to secure the modules to the wall. Make sure to tighten the provided M5 screws and M8 nuts using a torque socket wrench. Now, the modules have been mounted successfully. It's important to remember that the left side inverter bracket requires four M5 screws, while the left side battery bracket and the base bracket require three each. 
On the right side, all the brackets need 3 M5 screws. We can now start with the wiring process. Prepare and assemble the AC output connector, RS485 signal connector, RG45 connectors, DC input connectors, and protected ground cable lug by using the wire cutter, crimping plier, and wire stripper. Then attach the protected ground cable to the screw reserved on the inverter. Remove the waterproof covers and plugs on the terminals. Please connect the AC output cable to the designated terminal and it can be more securely fastened with an N4 screw for added safety. Next, insert the RS485 signal cable and connect the RG45 cables as well. After that, proceed to install the Saijin Commod and Wi-Fi antenna. Before connecting the two sets of positive and negative PV input cables, please ensure that PV cable polarities are correct. The video demonstrates recommended methods for cabling out. After finishing the wiring, the following step is to attach the decorative covers. You should connect the light strip and firmly fix the decorative covers on both sides, starting from the bottom and moving upwards. No screws or tools are necessary for this task. Turn the DC switch on to start commissioning with my Saijin app. Log in and create a noob system. By scanning the QR code, and providing system and owner details. Afterwards, download and install the latest software and confirm the press it parameters. Conduct a one-click full system check to identify any potential issues with the installation. Confirm all settings and now you have successfully added a new power system. Click to check the real-time system and device status. Once the equipment has been powered on and successfully commissioned, you can install the remaining decorative covers. Congratulations! on the successful installation of your new Saijin store system. Saijin Energy. Enjoy green energy.